Hi, so for this problem, it says that when generating one an investment account is worth 50000 okay, value has increased to all of these, some are withdrawn, deposited, and towards the end, the dollar rate of return using simple interest approximation is equal to the time rate of rate of return. Okay, so let's start with the time rate of rate of return. So we have an investment account worth um, 50000 and then on May 1st, the value has increased to 52,000. Okay, so 50,000 value increased to 52,000, and then the principal of 8,000 is deposited, which means that 60,000 is right then. Uh, at time t, the value of the fund has increased to 62,000. And then 10,000 is withdrawn, which will make the remaining 52,000. And then up until next year, the fund's value will be worth 55,000 which means that we're able to find our time weighted by circling these, right? So we could do 52 over 50 times 62 over 60 or times uh, 55 over 52 equals to one plus i. So let's first solve this all that we could do. Uh, 52 times 62 times 55. Okay, divided by 50 times 60 times uh, 52. Right, and then minus 1, right? So the interest rate is going to be 0.1366. Now, okay, so we got time weighted all settled. Now let's do the dollar weighted. So we can use the dollar weighted formula. But first we have to find the interest. So again, the initial balance was 50000 We deposited 8000 we also withdrew 10,000. Then we also added interest earned. And then the last value of the whole thing is this. So let's find this. So we could do 55,000 minus 50,000 minus 8,000 plus 10,000 and we could find out the interest, it will be equal to 7,000. So this is the top of the numerator of our dollar weighted return. Now we can set, set up the equation for the numerator. So initial 50,000, right? So initial 50,000, then we do uh, plus 8,000. It was deposited on May 1st, which means that four years have elapsed, which means that we multiply this by 8 out of 12 years that are left, minus the withdrawal of 10,000 times uh, at time t. It was withdrawn. So we know that it occurred at time t, so we know that we could do one minus t because that's where we're heading at equals to again this is that the dollar weight is equal to time rate return so we'll set it equal to one three six six now we could solve for t so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this to the i'm going to bring this to the other side and divide this by a uh, seven thousand so i'm going to get I get a very hefty number, um, or better yet, I don't, even, I don't even think, I'll, I'll keep this for a second. And I'm gonna first simplify this. So I'll do 8,000 times 8 
divided by 12. So I'm gonna get 5333p.33 plus 50,000. So I'm gonna get 55,333. So I'll do 7,000. And I'll also bring this to all to the other side. So I'll do 7,000 equals 0.366. Times really minus uh ten thousand minus uh plus ten that minus ten thousand plus ten thousand T. Right now, I'm gonna subtract the ten thousand from it. Right, and it's gonna be forty-five. Uh, it's gonna be equal to forty-five. Three, three, three dot three three. Right. Now I'm gonna distribute the point one three three six to times point one three six six. It's gonna be. Six one nine two five five three. Then I'm going to distribute this one's going to be ten thousand times point one three six six. So it's going to be one thirty one three six sixteen. Now I could put move this to the other side and do seven thousand minus six one nine two point five three, right? And then I'm gonna divide that amount by one three six six. Now I'm gonna end up getting uh point five nine one one two, right? As t. Now, I see here that A is far off, B is far off, E is far off. Um, I also know that five, I also know that five E, C. Point five eight nine plus point zero zero one. Yeah, I also know that I'm gonna answer that I got is closest to D because it's only far off by 0 0.001. So, and what I got was 0 0.9, 0 0.59, 112. So that's why I got them answers D. Okay.